Thank you all for coming to our annual holiday science lecture here at Rufus Wilson Elementary. I'm Dan Turlickman, one of the science teachers here. Our subject tonight is the moon, and our guest speaker is Dr. Ward Grissom from the Goddard Space Flight Center. Let's all welcome Dr. Grissom. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here. I am so pleased to be invited, and I guess I'll start by telling you a little about myself. Usually the person who introduces the main speaker does that, but... So, I'm an astronomer, and specifically, I'm what's called a planetary scientist. My focus is on the field of lunarology, which is the study of... the moon. I've been at the Goddard Space Flight Center for the past 15 years, where I've gotten to work on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. It's a robotic satellite that uh, orbits the moon. This one time, we sent a picture of the Mona Lisa from Earth to the moon using a laser. You probably didn't hear about that because it happened before you were born, but it was pretty cool. And the last few years, I've also been a consultant on the Artemis program, which is NASA's current human spaceflight program that is going to be sending people to the moon again. Finally. Because we sent people to the moon before, but that was so long ago, it was before I was even born. So, anyway, before I get into what I wanted to tell you tonight about the moon, does anyone have any questions about the moon or anything? Yeah, I got a question. Oh, sure. Okay. A question from a parent. Uh, yes, sir. That uh, moon landing from back in the day. Right, the Apollo project in the 60s. That's what you're referring to? Uh-huh. Where'd they shoot that at? Where'd they shoot it? Yeah. You know how when it was on TV and then people were walking around on the moon? Where'd they shoot that at? The moon. Oh. Right. I get it. Any other questions? Okay, another parent question. Go ahead. Yeah, how long does it take to get to the moon? Great question. About three days. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. So in that case, follow-up question. Okay. How'd the cow survive that long in space? I'm sorry, I'm slightly confused. To what cow are you referring? I don't know what its name was, but I'm sure you've heard of it. The cow had jumped over the moon. In the Mother Goose right? Yeah. Can cows really hold their breath for three days? Yes. Unfortunately for the cow, it takes another three days to come back. Other questions? Before I start my... Yeah, I got another one. I actually thought there'd be more questions from the kids. So they really landed on the moon. And they were the first ones to do it. Where'd the cameras come from? They brought the cameras with them. Anyone else? Here? Yes, sir. Actually, before you ask your question, does your child maybe have a question for me about the moon? Oh, I don't have any children. So what I want to know is, what kind of cheese is it? What kind of cheese is what? That the moon is made of. The moon is not made of cheese. Then what's it made of? Holograms? It's made of rock. It's composed of many of the same elements we have here on Earth. Silicon, iron, calcium, aluminum, and those and other elements exist in the form of compounds with oxygen called oxides, which is why oxygen 
is actually the most abundant element on the moon. Then how come people say it's made of cheese? No one says that. In fact, that expression originated as an example of how some people can be made to believe anything, no matter how ridiculous. So, speak of the devil. Who do you work for? The Goddard Space Flight Center. I'm talking higher up the food chain. NASA. Higher Nat. The United States government. Higher. The Illuminati. And who runs the Illuminati? The Masons. No, not them. The 13 families. Them either. The Council on Foreign Relations? No. What's the one with the grove? Bohemian Grove. That one? No. I feel like you're trying to get me to say a particular group of people. I'm just trying to get you to tell the truth. Are you, though? You know what I want you to say. I want you to say it. I don't want to say it. What could you possibly say that would be so bad you don't want to say it in a room full of people? I have a question. Fuck! Whose kid is that? Nobody.